good morning guys how's everybody doing today well we're on the highway through hell heading to Vancouver Vancouver's calling my name it's been four weeks though no, I think this is the longest I've been away from Vancouver six weeks so I'm going back to get that test socket I got to get it um, turned into a permanent socket so Dr. Leah's going to do some adjustments we got to take it for a day wear it make sure it's good and then she's gonna convert it. So I brought some Terry Fox t-shirts to put on it. And then the inside, I don't know, I'm gonna get my co-partner here to pick what design I should do. Oh, I should say Kenzie's with me here. Hi. The summer of Kenzie continues. We're going to one of Kenzie's favorite hotels in Vancouver. It's got a massive slide inside and then it's got an outdoor pool. It's fancy very very fancy so we purposely booked this hotel because Kenzie was with me and Kenzie's a fish and loves swimming so we're gonna do that and then we got we're gonna go to our first soccer game so we're gonna go see the Vancouver Whitecaps at BC Place and they're playing Kansas City um, I don't know what their, their team name is I don't really know much about soccer but I hear it's a good time so we're gonna go and do that temperature today way up on the Coquihalla is 26 degrees so fairly warm I'll do the conversions in the poop poop down below but still fairly warm out so beautiful beautiful day up here we're rushing on the Coquihalla to get to Vancouver so my appointment's in the early afternoon and it's late morning right now so things are going to be extremely tight so DJ can you please roll that intro Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. Guys, we made it here. We're going to see Dr. Leah and get the my leg adjusted, and then we'll take it. Come back. So we're here at Barber's Prosthetics, and like, well, it's Vancouver, but it's basically almost Richmond. So it's just on Marine Drive in Vancouver, BC. Kenzie's first time here, so she's met Leah before, but first time meeting this team. There guys, so we're gonna go and see a Dr. Leah. My leg's not fitting at all, so actually this is probably a good day to see her. Kenzie's first time, she just met the owner, Dave. Super, super nice guy. Highly recommend this place. But I told her it's so weird because you enter through the back door. Isn't that cool? Look at all the, this guy. Isn't that cool? This, um, 
these up here are, are, are wooden legs. That's how when they used to make legs out of wood. Hey guys, well, part of Kenzie's tour of barbers, I had to introduce her to Bob. Bob can do fist pumps. I don't think I want to touch Bob. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Bob. Bob's mustache is growing in pretty good. He's like a little Hitler. I don't touch it. Bob can do fist pumps. I don't think I want to touch hey Bob. Hey everybody, this is Bob. Bob's on a diet now. Can I drop it too? Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. And this thing, do you know this thing is behind you here? Oh, uh, it's a 3D printer. Yeah. So they were saying last time that they're, they're learning, they might be printing 3D sockets. 3D sockets? Do you want to see one? There's one in the back. Yeah, I want to see one. Okay, I'll show you. Hey, Bob, keep it real, okay? But you can see the 3D lines. Mm -hmm. David, where's the 3D socket? Yeah, look at it. Check out the line so that I can. So you can see each line. The problem with this stuff is, A, we're doing it on a printer like in our office here, so it's a mm -hmm. fairly inexpensive. That one we were just looking at by Bob? Uh, the skeleton? It's a, it's a little bit different. It's our, this is done with our older printer. That we, This is where we're into our second printer now. Our first printer, uh, it, it's pretty good. You can see where these ridges are. What that is, is it gets a little bit wider and then they put a matrix in there, kind of like an X pattern to try to make this not want to bend, right? Because what happens is you're stepping on it and then you step funny on a rock or who knows what. And then this ear, if it's not strong, you're going to bust it right off. If this breaks, this is your knee right here, that's probably going to have some damage. So you really, that's What's the to. longevity like with that? Well, is it still so this is, this is strictly like stand up in our office and try it. So the problem with these printers is if you look, you can see that each one of these lines is not perfect. Like to the other. They should, yeah. This should be yeah, like you can see it's crooked. A, twin a twin of 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 a twin ish. When I see kind of this kind of stuff where it's buckering like this, it, all that has to happen is you get a little bit of a cold breeze coming over the top of the plastic because it's being spit out because it's hot and it cools off a little bit and it doesn't make the right bond. Oh, is that what? Oh. Because it's going around like this, right? Basically, it's a glue gun on a, on a CNC machine. So the glue gun is going around and spitting out this organized confusion and then in some of these spots it is making like a wider kind of a matrix inside of the, the material itself so but you have to put in a climate controlled room there is that ideal well i don't know what ideal is for the printer but certainly there should be no breezes there sh it should be kind of like a just like a vacuum dish right it's, there's no outside facts controlled yeah. and, we're, and we're not bringing in any real um, variables through the printing now, when we're done with this, I can fit this on you and we can check it. Maybe if I wanted to walk you in here, I could walk you in here. But but it, it's it's tough yeah, stuff. It's, but it's not near as tough as like the wood. How long would this take to print? Uh, it take like 20 hours. Whereas that thing you could pump through in how long? Well, this particular one actually uh, is a sample of a prepreg system that uh, Oser has. English? What is it called? Prepreg. So it's already, um, it's got the carbon already impregnated with the resin. Oh. So prepregnated resin. Yeah. Uh, prepregnated with resin. And so you do this right on the patient's limb. Now there's lots of things that are challenging about that technology. The good and bad part is it's very thin and it's very, very strong. Like I could hit that one too. But it would have a different. It's really thin. It's like it's really thin. Really thin. So want. the problem with that socket is, is that if you want to do any adjustments to it, it's really thin. So I can't grind it. Could you? It's carbon, so it doesn't like the heat. This is real carbon, like not, not fake. You can see it in there. See yeah, it? but when you do that, I, it looks real. Most of the time, we, most of the time we do actually use real on the carbon. We have some fake wraps. That are still carbon, but yeah, not really yeah, like yeah, yeah. strength. I love coming to Barber's Prosthetics and learning. Man, technology is constantly changing. This arm here in front of Kenzie is for a little boy, and he wanted to ride a mountain bike, and he couldn't hold the bars. So there's a piece that bolts onto the handlebars, 
and then the other piece is obviously goes on his stump and it's got like a ball joint if he falls off. It was really cool and really cool for Kenzie to see all these neat prosthetics and, and where the future is being. So from there we decided to get on with the purpose of being here. Man, I could learn all day from these people and they're so great sharing their knowledge, but I really had to move on and determine what's going on. I think I'll get another battery for us. So this is my problem here, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just changing the camera angle. So right at the end here, right where my hands are, it's too tight. So when I get put the, the liner all the way in, I'm still above. So Leah's got the special, I got one of these. She's like, I, got, I got one of these. Andrew's prosthetics. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like it. Andrew's prosthetics. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, I'm there. I'm not well, I guess you're sitting down right now. Yeah, you're, like, pretty far away. Yeah, like, okay, watch. Well, maybe I can get down a little bit more. That's a little bit better, but I'm still up. Wow. Like, that's how way, much That's way further up than you were. Like, you should touch the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the rule? Yeah. You should be touching the bottom? Yeah. You should make contact. Like, I don't even wait you want air there. there. Not yeah. really. Like, maybe when you first step in, I want a tiny bit of space because I know you'll sink down. But the fact that you haven't sunk down at all. See, I, I, how hard is it to remove this stuff? No, not hard at all. Just because I have a funny feeling you it. take it off and I'm good. But so the problem with that is the your final socket is gonna, gonna feel exactly is like that, it's with that, this. this. So is, yeah, because yeah. it's flexible a little bit. The plastic's flexible, so that's why you're able to get down. But I need to make enough room so you're able to get yeah. down even when it's super firm. But I'll just chop that off and I'll make it a little bit bigger. So guys, this is this is my positive. So this is what the sock socket looks like. It's all made out of, out of um, plaster. So now what she's gonna do is she's gonna put like um, a spacer and then heat up the socket and put it over. So like maybe a sock or something just to expand it a little bit. So that's my leg. So do you know how they make it? Then they pour plaster into it, mm -hmm. and so that's a negative. Mm -hmm. This becomes a positive, mm -hmm. and then from there, then they put the new final material. But Leah, what Leah's going to do today is she's going to put a spacer basically on her, mm -hmm. and then heat it up. So, let's see how this is going to go. so she's going to put like a sock and then ram it on there, and then let it cool. I'm going to move that pad just so. It's pretty cool it stuff to see. Easier. Like it's very cool. They watch me filming. <laughs> so that's what she's gonna do. Take the tape off, blow it out, and see if we can get it to fit. What do you think about your prosthetics dem demonstration? It's pretty cool. The mountain biking one. That was cool for the little kid. Yeah, like every time I'm here, every time I'm here, guys. Like, yeah, it seems like I'm just getting work done, but I'm learning along the way. And having Kenzie here learning it too is kind of cool, you know. Mm -hmm. The future is constantly changing, like as Dave, Dave was talking about with 3D and mm -hmm. it's crazy. So let's see what Leah blows it out like, but I think getting that fiberglass tape off is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, it's be so much fun. <laughs> This is day three of leg appointments. I didn't. I started to film yesterday, and then it just kind of snowballed, so I didn't really film much at all um, for Dr. Leah. So 
what I'm fighting with is when I was crushed by the elevator, my um, let's try to do the word residual limb, my on my amputee side is stuck up. So it's stuck at like, I don't know, 30 or 40 degrees, so stuck upwards. So every time I get a socket built, they have to build, they call it flexion. They have to build that flexion into it. So this time they went and built the flexion and there's the, and I'll show you once I stop driving here, but there's the part, the claw that where the, the bottom leg attaches to it. They call it the claw and where my flexion and the claw meet, it's like a angle. Sorry. So it's like this, if you will. So right at this point, on those two angles, I'll put a little diagram up here, but on those two angles, I keep feeling it digging into my stump. So all day, all day yesterday, Leo was grinding, grinding, grinding away, and it's. It's better, every time she grinds it gets better, but it's still there. Um, you'll see my previous video, we were at um, Capilano Suspension Bridge. I wore my leg the whole day that day, so I gave it a really good try. And it was just like numb after, so it, all in that spot. So I hate to say it, but I think this trip was a waste of time because Leah's gonna have to, she was telling me yesterday, she might have to pull a new socket so basically a new test socket so basically take the cast the positive and add some clay in that spot and then um, add some clay or plaster in that spot sorry it's got a crucial turn here to make there we go um, and then re-pull it so it'll give her more room to adjust it there is what she's saying because it, it's really thin there and so when she's grinding she can only take off like sorry turning again uh, millimeters like next to nothing so it makes it really really tough so I'll find out what she says today I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her it's just it sucks because Leah's I don't I hate being that whiner and I hate being cleaner but it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit right. It just doesn't feel right. It's and I've never. Sorry, just trying to merge on the highway here. I've never experienced this before. Normally, sockets just fit. So, I don't know. I feel bad because I feel like I'm being a whiner, but I'm truly. It just doesn't fit. She's she's amazing. She's just like no. This is some clients we have, we have to pull two, three, four test sockets for them, and that's just what it is. So she says, don't feel bad, but I'm like, I know how busy she is, and I hate bugging her, and I hate being that person, but, you know, A, it's very, very expensive. I mean, a socket's like 4000 or $5,000 Canadian, so it's, they're not cheap. And B, I, I just don't like being her whiner client. You know, because I'm truly, I'm just like rubbing some dirt and let's get back out there. It doesn't really matter to me, so. Holy cow, Vancouver traffic. It's just, it's something else. It's just constant. And I don't know, I, I don't mind driving in it. Like, I just take my time and it is what it is. But on the other hand, if I lived here, it would wear on me just every day. It's just... Oh my god, you can't just quickly get somewhere here. Like, we went 10 kilometers yesterday, and it took 45 minutes, almost an hour, to get there. Whereas, to give you an idea in the shoe shop, I can go 10 kilometers in, like, 10 minutes. You know, so it's like, jeepers. I get it. It's a major city. It's major city problems, I get it, but... It's one of those places I come to visit, but not to stay. So let's go see what Dr. Leah has to say on day three. Okay, so here's the plan. So like I was saying in the van, that's my, that's my liner. Um, you guys can see where the green tape is here, right here. 
that's where I'm feeling the line. When you look inside the socket, there's nothing there. Like it's completely smooth. But you can see the marks, you see the, the pen marks on the back? That's where I'm feeling it. So the more Leah grinds on it, the better it gets, but it's from doing the suspension bridge yesterday, it was just so tough. So what she's gonna try, and I'll get her to explain it, is she's going to, believe it or not, do lipstick, something about lipstick. So we'll see what Leah's got cooking here, because I don't understand it. Okay, so show me again. Like, I already put tape there, but like. Right there. Like, pretty much where your tape is, it's. Okay. So, what's that going to show? A smear mark? It, it should show, like, the line if it's touching. That's the other good thing that it shows oh. you. It transfers well. Yeah, really, really well. So, it's like chalk. See if it actually shows. Okay, should I walk on it? Yeah, because can you feel that line right now? Yeah, walk a little. Because it's not as pronounced. But I can definitely feel like it's a straight line. It's Yeah, the straightness of the line is. And that it's But right like you said, it's the like nerves that are just they can play tricks. Yeah. If it could be because you weren't really getting great contact on the end before, whereas like now your skin looks amazing at yep. the bottom, but so it's maybe just nothing was touching there. Oh, I was gonna ask you something too. Okay. <coughs> oh yeah, I guess that's tough when you. So this is when, if I was you, I would just take this out. What the. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you about. Um, that should not be that. Um, You're going to get a different one. So, that thing... See, it's right on the line. Yeah, it's exactly where we marked it yesterday. So, what do you do? Does that prove anything? Well, it... it it's like that we marked the right line yesterday. <laughs> Can I take this off? I don't know. We barely got lipstick on anything. So yeah. Right where this line is, guys. That's where the problem is. Okay, let me pull that out a bit and see. So that's what we're going to try, guys. It's so, like, unless you're an IPT, you don't get it. But it's just like, when they're doing adjustments, it's just like micro. In your head, you're thinking, oh, take it half inch off. Like, that will do it. No, it's just so micro, and it, that micro is enough to drive you nuts. Like yesterday, after the suspension bridge, I was numb. Like, it was driving me nuts after, just from putting that pressure in that one spot. So, I don't know. So, let's see what Leah does. She's going to try to heat it up and blow it out. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket right there. Oh, yeah. Just want to let you know if that's just that way. Just so you know. Sorry, I'm having a bad no, I'm orgasm. Just... <laughs> There's from oh, the cat's yeah. mouth. She blew it out, heated it up. I can actually still feel it warm. So now she's going to rewrap it with that tape. Um, scotch cast tape, I think she called it. And then I'm going to take it. So me and Kenzie are going camping next week again, believe it or not, to Sycamuse. So we're in a full hookup place there, which I'll show you guys. It's We go there every year. It's awesome. And then... Um, come back the following week so stay tuned so thanks so much for going on this journey with me to barbers prosthetics and getting my test saw get adjusted I thought we we're gonna get it measured but you know things happen so it's not really a big deal so um, just a reminder I do release videos every Wednesday Friday and Sunday Fridays are just shorts Wednesdays and Sundays are longer um, I just appreciate you watching. If you guys considered subscribing, that would be great. If 
thought that I get it. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I totally understand it. Thanks, and keep smiling, and have yourself a great day.